Well, CITE is the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, Flora and Fauna. It is about trade re regulation of endangered species, both plants and animals. And our job at the border is to ensure that any movements of these goods are legitimate. What we've got here is a taxidermy item, a rug, a black bear. Again, you can kill these and bring them in as long as you've got the permits. Moving on, we've got a fur coat, a bobcat. And again, this was picked up uh, at Heathrow Airport. We have Naja Naja Cobra uh, boots, again, brought into the UK and detected at Heathrow. The Chatouche, a ring shawl. Again, this shawl is worth about £3,500. And again, it's made from the fur of the Tibetan antelope, a critically endangered animal. Moving on, a small rhino horn that was detected. This was found in a plaster cast model of a Spanish lady that came from South Africa and we found the horn concealed inside it. Current estimates of rhino horn is 50 to 60,000 pound a kilo, so we've got at least two kilos there. So that would be a nice pension for someone. Elephant ivory, two tusks that were picked up uh, about three months ago at Heathrow in Courier Mail. Chinese nationals in Africa buying up our ivory items and shipping it home and it comes via the United Kingdom because the transit hubs are in the UK and again you can see from the hollowness of these tusks these have come from a very very young elephant because again it's only the top of the tusk that's hollow once you get to the bottom part it becomes solid so that's no distance at all and again they've painted this brown in the hope that we would think it was just wood but a simple piece of steel wool minutes and it's clear it's not just the ivory these boots are made from elephant hide again so every part of the elephant is uh, protected down here we have our most recent seizure this was part of two tons seized by freight officers at Heathrow it's Indian red sandalwood came from India as the name would indicate but was transiting through the UK and going on to Hong Kong and as I say we've got two tons of this uh, that's now been seized Bear bile, uh, again drawn from the gallbladder of predominantly the black Asian beer. And again, a very, very small thing. This was one of 100 vials that were picked up by an officer at Terminal 1 Heathrow from Hong Kong. Uh, about £350 in value, just that cage there. But again, a traditional Chinese medicine, which allegedly will give, will give relief to liver, improve your eyesight and break down gallstones. We have the tiger bone plasters, again quite common. What we're seeing now is lion bone being used because the tigers are now becoming so critically endangered. They're now out slaughtering the lions. We're seeing more and more lion bones being sold as tiger bones. Uh, here we have the seahorse hippocampus, again in a plaster, uh, traditional Chinese medicine. We are changing in beauty products and health supplements. We're starting to see endangered species. Here we have sturgeon, cartilage involved in uh, new age supplements. Uh, we've got orchids and others. Here we have cactus, Hudia gardonia. Uh, this was traditionally used by East Africans as an appetite suppressant when they went on treks. But the beauty industry have said, let's be slim. And they've now started taking this critically endangered plant and putting it in fatty fat diet supplements and then a ra radiated star tortoise shell again critically endangered tortoise but there's the remains or a tourist souvenir of what was once a majestic animal